Hello, I'm Daniela. In today's video, we're going to make fabric postage stamps. Now, these are adorable little works of art that you can use either with stitches, fabric collage, felt cutouts, or even threadlings, which are just thread scraps. I'll show you lots of variations and different ways to make these cute little pieces of art. They're great to add to your slow stitching projects or make an abundance of them ahead of time. These particular ones have a Valentine's Day theme, so they're all based around hearts and love and all that type of thing. And they are adorable. So let's get started. So now to create my beautiful little fabric postage stamps, I use a variety of techniques and supplies. I have some scrap fabric. I have little floss here or pearl thread. I have even scraps of my thread called threadlings or orts, depending on who you are and what you call them. I have some cute hard buttons and I have some felt shapes. Sometimes they're called table scatter. They're just little hard felt shapes and I can use these in my work as well. So to start my postage stamps, I like to start by cutting out some little wool felt. You can use craft felt as well. And I don't measure it, I just eyeball it and I cut out lots of shapes. You could cut them all the same shape. I like to use my pinking scissors, my pinking shears, because it cuts so beautifully through the felt. And then I can just make my shapes, my little rectangles. If they're not perfect, I can trim them down further. And I can make them really small and use them in my work as well. I like to create a few particularly a lot of larger ones, and then I can cut them down as I need them because there's lots of techniques you can use for this. You can even cut them with a regular pair of scissors and make a straight cut if you prefer. I just really enjoy that little pinking shear. So to start with the most basic postage stamp, I select some thread color that I like, take my little wool shape for my backing, and then I'll just trace a heart it can be whimsical and uneven, or it can be perfectly rounded and symmetrical. The choice is yours. So using this Frixian pen from the office supply section of the store, I make a heart and then I'll just stitch around it. Here I just did a back stitch. It's very simple and lovely. Here I went to town and made a bunch of French knots and I separated them with a little dash. And here I did concentric hearts and I used a split stitch. Depending on the colors and the stitch, you can get a lot of variation and it's quite lovely. The next method uses stitching again, but it also uses some fabric. So here I took a piece of fabric, just a little scrap and cut it into a heart. And then I just stitched a heart. Now here I had two pieces of fabric. I took a little piece of white fabric and stitched around it to make a little background and then stitched down that little black heart and it's very precious and sweet. So then I started to get a little more involved. I put a little fabric collage for the background. I made some interesting stitches all the way around and then I layered additional fabric. And again, I went right to that beautiful salmon color. I also added a fun little button. I think that's a little more dimension than I've been using before, but it's so adorable. And now keeping with the button theme, I added a little piece of lace on the background for texture. And then I adhered my button, stitched that lace down, and I have a sweet little lacy and very feminine little postage stamp. Now for these, I used some felt shapes, sometimes called table scatter. I'll show you how I do those. Now sometimes you can find little felt shapes. You can find them inexpensive at a dollar store. They're just cut out into different shapes made of felt. You could find them in other places and they might be very valuable to use on these little teeny stamps. Here I took a little lock and key, stitched them down with coordinating color and then I just stitched a little word love. For this one, I thought I would just take these two hearts that came in that package and attach it to my backing and then just make a few stitches to hold it in place. So I like the way that looks. I'll take my thread and I'm gonna start, I'm gonna jump right in, right to the center here. And just make a few stitches to hold it down. I 
I like to go around the perimeter. And then once I have that first shape, I'll stitch around the perimeter over here as well. And so I stitched around the center heart and then I just made little teeny stitches taking advantage of that scalloped edge of this one. So that's how I use felt cutouts for these postage stamps. And then lastly, I have this whimsical little heart made from threadlings, just my thread scraps from what's ever left over in my needle. It has a little more dimension and the back is actually just as pretty as the front. But depending on the thread colors you use, you can get a different result. So for this technique, I take my little threadlings, some people call them orts. They're just whatever's left over when you finish a project on your needle. A lot of people save them, they put them in a jar and they use them. I like to keep thread in my needle after I'm done with it because it helps me to see my needle. But when I'm gonna change thread or use a different color, then I'll remove it and save it in a little jar. Here I sorted my little threadlings so that I had a bunch of the colors that I wanted. This is completely optional. And if you don't have these, you haven't saved them, you can use yarn or even fresh thread, it's up to you. So I wanna use that to give a little dimension to my shape. So I have a bunch of them here. This might be a little too much, so I'll just take a few off just to play around with it, get a different shape going here. And I'll set that aside in case I need it again. And then I just take that and I kind of just gently wrap it around. Now, since I'm doing a heart, I know that the bottom will form like a little point. So that's what I'll work on first. That just seems to be the way to go for me. And because the shape is comprised of these little haphazard pieces, I'm not necessarily looking for a perfect heart, just something that represents a heart. So I have that little point there and I'll just put it down where I want it on my little felt square. And then I just tuck it. So I'm starting to get that little pointed shape. Here I have some thread on a little needle. It's a thin little needle, milliner's needle. I have my knot at the end of the thread. So I'm just gonna stick my needle in through the bottom. It doesn't really matter where. And I'm just gonna start tacking down a few stitches. I'm tacking them inside this heart, trying to really basically make a little knot of all the pieces and that holds it down. So when I flip it over, it's not falling off. When I have it anchored pretty well, then I'll start really shaping it. I can play around with it. I can even come back in here, take a few more strands just to finish up that shape, making it a little better. So I tuck it in. And using my thread again, I'll stitch it down Now, since I know I'm making a, basically a triangle with a rounded top on each side, I can start to form that triangle. I might have a little bit of a whimsical shape and it's not gonna look perfect right away, but with every stitch that I add, it tightens it up a little. So I'm gonna work on the right-hand side here. I'll come in towards the edge and stitch down and then I'll just work my way up, tacking stitches down. Again, I can fill in the heart if I need to with additional thread just to get that shape perfect. A little more tuck. I come up, make my shape. Another stitch and so on. And I'll speed this along so you can see the process without having to sit through me telling you that I'm just tucking and stitching. Now, depending on how tight and how many stitches you make, this can be a very dimensional and puffy object or a very flat one. That's up to you. Whatever you'd like to create is what works. So I'll just continue going down one side and then back up again. Now 
So as you can see, my heart is coming together. I'll just make a few more stitches and tuck in a few little pieces and show you how it's looking. So there's the little threadling heart all complete. As you can see, it's a little off center. I could either leave that as it is and maybe use this space to add a piece of text or a little French knot or something, or I could just take my scissors and just cut it off a little bit, just like that. And it's a little more balanced. So that's how I make the threadling heart. So that's my method for creating a fabric postage stamp with a heart theme. They're adorable. There are so many methods that you can use. And if you just sit down at your work surface with a bunch of thread and fabric and little accessories, you can come out with a number of them all at once. And it's a fun little afternoon activity. Let me know what you think about this video in the comments below. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for joining me today.